Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And I am happy to be bringing you this watch pre SIHH. Boy, did Cartier rock at these Santos XL Blue Dial Steel Models 2 dealers. One of the hottest watches of 2019 is a judicious blend of 2018's best Cartier debut and a sensational new sunburst dial in blue, deep gradient blue with metallic numerals. They're silvered and transferred, absolutely sensational. Now the watch is the Santos Large, but objectively it's not that big of a watch. It's very wearable on a smaller wrist and you can see on my 16 centimeters circumference wrist, it's an easy fit partly because it is so dramatically cambered or curved. The case does have a graceful arc to it that traces the outline of the top of the wrist. Now it's a thin watch. I measured it as only about 9.4 millimeters thick, which means this is a timepiece that's going to sit easily and quite comfortably underneath any kind of a dress cuff. You're going to slide this underneath both the jacket and the dress shirt beneath. And lug to lug, it's also nicely constrained. 47.5 millimeters lug to lug and a compact 37 millimeters across, not including the crown guards or the crown. So this is a watch that by most standards would be considered a meat of the market size for any wrist from 14 centimeters circumference up to almost 20. Believe me, the integration of the bracelet and the lug ends gives it the impression visually of a larger watch on the wrist. And as you can see, I've already started dismantling this quick switch bracelet. You can see that I've taken it apart. You can do this using SmartLink, only your finger, and you can see the outline of the triggers that actuate the release system, which is spring-loaded. So you can actually size this bracelet, and you can also remove it from the case simply by depressing a trigger underneath. This is quick switch. You just push it down, and unfortunately I shaved down my nails to bring you here, but this is actually easier to use than past quick release systems for me. I can remove this with zero nail. Presumably you're not going to be manicuring your hands to do watch videos, so this should be even easier for you. Previously these systems would give me fits. This is the best one I've encountered. The bracelet looks and feels like something that could only be put together by a professional, perhaps even in an industrial setting. So solid is it. The look is Cartier, but the feel in the hand and on the wrist is Rolex. It's that solid. You can see the little flourishes of bolt-style appurtenances atop satin finished links, and you'll appreciate the fact that there's a vertical satin finish on the flanks. It's thoughtfully detailed, and it's nicely made. You can see how there's an interlock of the links. There's actually a scallop and a countersink, so that on the wrist, the timepiece has the flexibility of silk, and from a distance, it seems all of a piece, almost invulnerable without a single hint of daylight showing through, but none of the stiffness that usually implies. The clasp is worthy of a Royal Oak Offshore. It is very solid, double deployant with a twin trigger system, so this one's not popping open, but the chassis as well as the swing arms are so thick and robust that I would say that the watch could weigh three or four times what it does. That is, it could be made entirely of precious metal, even platinum, and be just as solid and secure on the wrist. You can see that there's a partition point, the interlocking C, evocative of 1980s Cartier. And if you look carefully, you can see that there's a very small and judiciously applied hairline bevel along the flank of the links, beautifully made. Let me demonstrate this crazy link system for you because I promised and now I should probably deliver. Well, smart link is literally that. The tolerances are so tight you can barely see this triggers that are used to actually pop it open. And that's what happens. You push the trigger, you pull out the retaining bar, which by the way is brilliantly set up. You, you can't actually pull it all the way out. That's smart because they know you'll lose that little piece if it co pops out all the way. It's actually bonded in so it can't be removed entirely. And then you simply reassemble the opposite side. You just put these two things together and you see how you can resize the bracelet in a matter of moments using nothing but your fingernail. It is very, very smart. The timepiece features a robust set of shear guards for the crown. This is a sports watch, automatic winding and 100 meters water resistant, so the crown guards are functional. Faceted, you have both satin and polish on the geometrically formed crown that features a faceted blue spinel, evocative of the color of sapphire. And then you have a handsome taper that runs the full length of the case band. You can see that there's a polished bevel that starts at the crown guard and actually runs down and wraps around the end of the lug. That is very slick. I like the fact that it also flares at the end of the case. And you can see it perfectly traces the arc of the case hood. And this is new for 2018. You had a new 
shape for the bezel that actually flows downward and traces that taper of the lug as well as the bevel. So it used to be perfectly rectangular. Now it has a little bit of a spillover, almost a waterfall style form on the flanks of the case. The bezel is all of high polish, and I'm going to relieve you of my fingerprints, I apologize. And it has the traditional bolts that fix the bezel to the dial, or I should say the case of the Cartier Santos. Remember the Santos, originally designed in 1904 by Louis Cartier for Alberto Santos Dumont, a Zeppelin pilot, a rigid airship pilot. He was a pioneering aviator who needed both hands to operate a machine like that. Therefore, he needed a wristwatch, not a pocket watch, because he couldn't reach for his pocket while operating the machine. Now, the timepiece features loom on its dial, which is an evolution over the previous 2018 watch. You can actually see this watch at night. You can see piano style, railroad chaptering for minutes and seconds. You have these metal indices, and they are not indices properly, they are stylized Cartier Roman numerals. Note the absence of the secret signature because they are metal. And then you have the date at six o'clock. It's a nicely balanced dial, and it's even more overtly sporting with its tones, textures, and luminescence than the prior version. Underneath the case back, and you will note that the case is nicely cambered to trace the arc of your wrist from side to side, Cartier. Manufacture caliber 1847, automatic winding 23 joule, 4 hertz beat rate, quick set date, hacking seconds. It features a 42 hour power reserve. It is thin, it is fine, it is made in house, and it helps this watch to clock under 9.5 millimeters thickness. This is a sensational watch. If you're gonna get the Santos, get the Santos XL. And if you're getting the Santos XL, get the fully loomed blue version that you see here. So far, this is my pace setter as the coolest watch of 2019 to date. See it and make it yours on the watch box. Cartier Santos Large XL, now in blue, now with loom, a big difference from the previous non-loomed 2018 model. This is the sporting Cartier to properly replace the late great Roadster.